we're fine. We're used to this. It's whatever. We it just, happens regularly. I mean, if you happens. really want to appease the gods, um, which we are, chocolate. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. And then it's funny. Like, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just filming this conversation <laughs> now. Fluffy animals. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kittens. Them. Kittens are the one magic thing that will always make me happy. Yes, kittens, yes. puppies. But yeah, that too. But uh, one of them. Why am I forgetting his name right now? But he's the sweetest of sweethearts ever. Because, like, both me and my boss, Shelby, will sit there and go, Okay, first day five. Oh, God. Right? He goes, Can we get can I get you anything? What do you need? I'll get you coffee. I'll get you this. And he, we're just like, No, we're fine. We just need a moment. Mm -hmm. He goes, No, 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 no. You, no, tell me what you need. And we're like, Whoever you marry is going to love you forever, except for how many kids you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wants, like, 11 kids. This oh, man she is, like, my yeah, father always good. always said that yeah. he wants a lemon kid. This so, you know, mm -hmm. so we could um, sync up your phone, mm -hmm. so everybody could hear the music. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, don't think I actually put that in the playlist. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll just swing it there. Yeah. All right. So, as you have witnessed the conversation about periods, as graced to you by Sam. <laughs> Um, we're at the venue. Harley, do you want to explain what's going on? Yeah. Come here. Oh boy, I got up too fast. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> I'm trying. Explain. Guest tables. <laughs> venue. <laughs> Words. Tired. <laughs> Sleepy. Beautiful. I did not do my hair. I look like trash, but whatever. She says that. Let's let's show the tables. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So those are the guest tables. Aren't they fucking pretty? And so, okay, maybe some, maybe some background. So today is, Harley, it's Friday, right? Yes. Okay, it's Friday. So it's the day before the wedding. November 8th. November 8th, it's Friday, and tomorrow is the wedding. So now we're doing rehearsal stuff. And I did not know that I'm gonna be part of this, which is kind of calming me down and also kind of freaking me out because I've never been to a wedding. Welcome to the club! Yay! you <laughs> Oh, do you mind if she's on camera? That's totally fine. Okay. <laughs> Hi. She'll even, do like, you want to say your she'll name? preen for you. I see ya. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're about to do. And I think I'm going to stop filming now. I might vlog later if I don't forget. I Honestly, my brain is trash right now. So, that. Oh, and also, I might. this might be destroyed afterwards because I might cry <laughs> because PMS. So just <laughs> gonna put this out to the world, and I miss baby cakes a lot. So that might happen. <laughs> so All right, see you later, guys. Bye. Hello. <laughs> so, hello. Go for it. I'll record you. Record wow. Yourself. Great. This <laughs> inception. I was just gonna say that. So he's yeah. filming me. No, I'm, I'm filming you. him. That's great. Um, so we're at the. <laughs> dinner now after the wedding rehearsal. The rehearsal went well. Are you happy with it? Yes. It's so dorky. I love it. I get to hold her wand, which yes, David, it sounds dirty. Shut up. Um, <laughs> and yes, so we're at dinner now. And then actually I have to try something out at home, which is my hairstyle because I have an idea for it, and I didn't try it yet, because what even is planning a uh, year? Like, yeah, <laughs> relatable. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it. How did you find the rehearsal? Yeah. You weren't taking part in it. I, I got to sit there and laugh at you guys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll get back to you later. Bye. Thank you. So stupid and horrible. Uh, they are. Okay, so um, now, there, now their little sound is stuck in my head. I know. <laughs> so, Crystal, I know, is thankful for those who agreed to be a part of the wedding and those who decided to travel from places far, <laughs> from Europe, from Canada, from Minnesota. Even though she doesn't wear anything in Minnesota, she wears Montana shirts. I do. <laughs> I, do I do have Montana sweater with me. Don't forget. Uh, I'm like yes. the only Minnesotan who does not own anything that says Minnesota on it. It's like I'm a shade of my state. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel that. And then we have, and then we have the Texans. 
who are gracing our presence, and we thank you for that. Yeah, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially him. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, him. 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 Hey, Jim, la it's last, an joke. <laughs> last night when we, well, when he arrived, we went to dinner, and every time he referred to his Theo, he Slash said, uncle. He said him. I was tired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? There was Relatable. a time when he was a little guy, and we had been back there, and he would call me Shari. Oh, no. And I finally took him aside one day, and I said, I am Theo, <clears throat> or I am Aunt, and if you don't do that, I will tell your mom. <laughs> I became Aunt very quickly. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> it was probably so dramatic, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, um, I am going to read a few of these. Uh, we actually have these at, at each place setting, so you'll see it tomorrow. But this is just heartfelt things from um, Chris and from Crystal, or Chris and Harley, or Harls, or Kiba, or Keeps. Keeps. I have so many. Or I I can see. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> so. Um, Judith Lowe's is Chris's grandma, and without a doubt, one of the largest influences in Chris's life. Having taken Chris in from ages seven to nine, her and Walter Lowe's, Chris's grandfather, may he rest in peace, showed him a far better way to live. They also took him the time every month to have Chris and his parents over for dinner, keeping up with him and making sure he was taken care of for his entire childhood. What a blessing. <laughs> Thank you. David Kadar Husby II has been Chris's best friend over a decade now, so it only makes sense that he'd be Chris's best man, because per Chris, he truly is the best of best men everywhere. <laughs> Rick San Miguel is Crystal's dad, her padre. She is his angel and always will be. Crystal got her love of the Pittsburgh Steelers, motorcycles, and her rocker heart from this special man. A special, <laughs> a special memory is actually meeting Dio when at a concert with her dad. That I was jealous of. I remember that one. It was yeah, a Scorpions was... concert at that. <gasps> yes. I wow. am Crystal's mom, as you know, and she's my honey pumpkin. And, and how that sassy. name came about is one time when she was little, I said, hey honey, and she goes, I'm your pumpkin. And I said, no, you're my honey. She goes, no, you're my, you're my honey pumpkin. So <laughs> honey pumpkin stuff. And I, I, even now, I will say, even in public, honey pumpkin. <laughs> we share a love of kitties and horses. And the reason I'm the efficient is Crystal and Chris felt there was no one who knows their relationship better. And all three of us are honored to share this special moment tomorrow. Paige Dragon Mahaffey, <laughs> maid of honor and Harley's twin sister. Dragon, as Harley likes to call her, has gone from longtime internet writing friend to real life friend to twin sister. Just like she calls her Dragon, you can often times hear her call me Kiba, often stylized as K exclamation point BA because she's extra. <laughs> <laughs> Even though scheduling time to be, visit each other is difficult, yes. they, when they do get to see each other, it's like no time has passed at all. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the greatest therapies on the planet. Getting to see her twin sister is more relaxing than any spa day. Not only was twin chosen as a descriptor due to a lot of similarities between the two of them, but it just so happens that they aren't very, part in, very far apart in age either. Like a month. She's one of the biggest cheerleaders of this gal, just as she hopes that she's one of yours. And she's absolutely thrilled that, she's, that you're able to be here today as her maid of honor. <laughs> or maybe not dying. Hug me. Table, 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 table
baby? V. Oh boy. V is a bridesmaid in Harley's soul half. Oh, yeah. Often oh, saying yes. that they are two halves of the same soul. V and Harley met by joining the same ADHD mental health community within a couple of months of each other. They both have a passion for ADHD advocacy and mental health awareness, which has led both of them to work as volunteers with some others here today within the very community they met in. In addition to their mutual love for mental health advocacy, they discovered that they share quite a few common interests and where they don't match, we make sure to support each other's excitement. She's incredibly honored that you agreed to be a bridesmaid and to fly all the way from Europe just for her and Disneyland, let's be real. <laughs> Admittedly, yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll let you open those after we get everyone yes. out there. Tiffany Yenna, bridesmaid, ring bearer, and Harley's big sister. Harley wrote a lot online when she was young, and during her super early writing days, she met Yenna. They clicked right from the start and spent a lot of their extra free time talking and writing with each other. If they ever needed advice about something, Yenna was always there to offer a big sister sort of wisdom. And you know, it's funny because one thing Crystal didn't know that I knew, she was supposed to get my approval to give Yenna her phone number, <laughs> and, and she didn't. Yeah. But I already knew because I recognized that this young lady was a good influence on her. So I didn't smack her upside the head. I just, <laughs> Thanks, I just let it go. <laughs> she did you. later say, oh, could I have her number? And after I got, oh, yeah, sure, honey, go ahead. But I already knew she had her. <laughs> and uh, where many, not all, left and distanced themselves from Crystal, you were always there. Uh, Yenna just held on tighter, always making sure she knew she was there if Harley needed her. And I'm going to read this part. I would also like to put on record that she is 100% of the reason why I love Nightmare Before Christmas and Sweeney Todd. Hashtag no regrets. <laughs> I am so utterly thrilled that Yenna could be here to be a bridesmaid today. Oh. Yeah. And then we have Sarshil or Sarshi. She's the flower girl and she's Yana's daughter. And I'm going to just read this. I have known through pictures since before she was born. Now, every so often, if Yana ever notices I need cheering up, she will send me adorable, supportive messages with pictures of her and Sarshi. Even though she's so far away, Sarshi never fails to brighten up my day. I've enjoyed watching her grow up into being that spunky and bright girl she is today. And when I needed a flower girl, I knew exactly who to ask for the job. We like violence. Violence is fun. So, Nisa, how was the dinner for you? Oh my gosh, this is good. Did you like it? Yeah. You know, being that you only ate a few hours ago and I saw that big salad, that's a lot of salad, but you did a good job. Mine's something white. We had it out earlier. I was like, I can't do carbs right now. No more wrapping. So, what salad did Jeff get? Yeah, now I have because my yeah, it's just 
Yeah. He was bending. Yeah. Aggressively. He was violent. Violent. He was like super aggressively. That's awesome. Well, and you know what? Today, when you bought the bracelet, you had to try and tell me that. Well, Nathan. Well, how did I just learn the connection? Yeah. How they all. Yeah, that was really funny. Thank you. It's cool. Is it? Her brief, uh, uh, maid of honor. They met online, and then obviously me and, and David actually met online too. So we we met in World Warcraft. I mean, well, what was I met online? Forever, all of them. You know, we met online. <laughs> Everybody met online. So cool, Nathan, was when I finally asked Crystal. I said, "Well, where does where does no. Dragon live?" And she said, "I don't know." And I said, "Well, ask her." And she said, "Oh, she lives in Fullerton." I said, "Crystal." This whole time. Two hours away. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time. Yeah. Oh, space. Yeah. He's eating a cupcake. Like, I'm slightly terrified. Maybe the, the green. It's green. green. So, so that's the start. It just is. I got that one with a little bit of hot Holy. <laughs> Very sweet, right? Holy. I mean, good. It's a. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sweet. And now it's also jading your teeth green, too. Hmm? It's jading your teeth green, too. <laughs> it's so good. Beautiful. Which means we don't want to party with the Slytherins. Mm -hmm. It's very straight so well. We have, we have blocked the experience. Yep. That, that's Scott. a game worth playing. Nice. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so, um... This dude <laughs> just gave me a switch <laughs> and Nino Kuni. So I am happy. And he's like, you person like Nino Also, it's Scott. Yeah. I almost fell asleep before now I'm not asleep anymore. Which is good because yesterday I fell asleep in my makeup. I didn't do that this time. Almost. But not not quite. I must play. You have any commentary? I do not have any commentary just because I'm tired. But yeah, really I'm well. happy that you're enjoying this. <laughs> okay, I must play. So I'm trying to edit, and I think there are like everybody else is still asleep. Harley and Chris are in their bedroom, and Carson decided to come and cuddle, and now I can't edit. So. The fact that this vlog is probably super, super, super late is partially due to the cat. I, I take no blame. You don't take any blame either, don't you? You're just a sweet little kitty. Adorable. So yeah, it's... Really early. And um... Yeah. I've been awake since like 4.30 because I'm still jet lagged. And now I'm editing the concert vlog from before I left. Come on, are you focusing, please? Thanks. I was snuggling the cat and editing the concert vlog. And today is the wedding, so I'm slightly anxious. But it's gonna be fine. Are you falling off the couch? Don't fall off the couch, baby. So I'll get back to editing if Carson lets me. And we'll vlog later. Bye.